Hi everyone, this is John Gilligan, and I pray that all of you had a great Easter. I know we did. We did for the first time. We had drive-in church right out here at our new sanctuary, the parking lot of Living Faith Outreach. People came from all over. Our parking, parking lot was full. Our uh, overflow uh, parking lot was full of cars, and we just had a great time in the Lord in this past Easter Sunday. So we want to encourage you. We're going to do it again this next Sunday, so we want to encourage you to come out at 10 o'clock. But I just want to share something with you right now. You know, the Bible says in Matthew chapter 9 that Jesus looked over the multitudes and he was moved with compassion because he saw them as sheep that were fainting and scattered without a shepherd. And then he went on to say, the harvest truly is plenteous, but the laborers are few. Pray ye therefore the Lord of the harvest that he would send forth laborers into the harvest. This is a great opportunity for the church. It's a great opportunity for the body of Christ to be what they're supposed to be. There are people out there that really need the Lord. You know, during our service on Sunday, we were worshiping God out here and people were driving down the street and just honking their horns. There was such an excitement out here. And even though we couldn't physically touch our people, we visited from their cars and, and just were waving and saying hello. But there's truly an excitement right now. And, and God is going forth in great measure during this time. You know, we have a ministry in our church and they had they made up some some t-shirts and on the back of it in big bold letters it says the church has left the building and so that's what we're doing right now you know when you think of it most of jesus's ministry it was outside it was to people it was out in the marketplace and i just think that times like this it gives us a better perspective of the world around us and how we can meet their needs so i pray that you'll be a part of this come out and see us sunday at 10 o'clock and uh, we're going to have a wonderful time in the Lord. But we love you. God bless you. And have a wonderful day.